As a young boy, Simon Mtoy grew up running the trails on the slopes of the highest mountain in Africa, the highest freestanding mountain in the world, the roof of Africa. In those early years, he was driven to explore, discover, and connect. And in doing so, learned that the spirit of the mountain is in all of the people that live there. A mountain that provides so much and unites all of those that live under its shadow. Now, international ultra runner Simon Mtoy is on a quest to put Tanzania on the map as an international trail running destination and to continue giving back to the mountain that has given him so much. Bringing a group of accomplished ultra runners together, Simon sets out to achieve what no one has done before. Run around the entire circumference of the mountain, passing through deep valleys, crossing open plains, and interacting with the local communities along the way. For a number of years now, I have had the dreams of being able to run around the mountain, to seeing what is this mountain is about. And now I realize the dream is here. I feel blessed to have the chance to share this with others from the world. The run around the roof of Africa is the opportunity to see Kilimanjaro from all sides. Eight days of running with a group of people really exploring a new terrain. The scenery of what we get to, to see is just spectacular. We're seeing these beautiful forests and valleys and canyons and just really incredible. I think this run really gives you a sense of what Kilimanjaro is about when you go all the way around. You get to see all the different people, landscapes, and communities that are affected and part of Kilimanjaro. Undescribable. I cannot describe very well to actually give somebody idea how it is it to run and to see every corner or every angle you turn, you see the mountain. It's right in front of you or it's right uh, above you. It's right uh, looking very intimidating and you're just running from 3,000 to 6,500 feet vertical of every day. And continuously in eight days, it's, 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 it's paradise. Soaring high above the clouds, Kilimanjaro is certainly the focal point of Central East Africa offering spectacular views over the Serengeti, Ngorogoro Crater, and the Amboseli National Park. Kilimanjaro attracts thousands of tourists each year, but if Simon Mtoy had his way, he would like to add another activity to that list. Top international female ultra runner Chrissy Mail has made the journey from Colorado to support Simon's dream. I received an email from Simon back in June inviting me to run around the roof of Africa didn't quite know what that meant, but looked at the dates and the idea of amazing opportunity to see Kilimanjaro from all sides, all of the villages and the pathways and the roads, crazy terrain that I'm, I am not used to training on or running on. And to get to Simons, you were on the four wheel drive road. You go as far as you can on the road and then you get out and you, you hike for maybe a half a kilometer up to his place and it's absolutely breathtaking up there. This is really his home that he's opening up to us and sharing with us. He has built some beautiful cottages at his home in Mbahe village. His mom and dad live next door. His brothers and sisters are on the property. This is the real deal. This is real Africa. It is from the cottages at the Mbahe village that the inaugural eight day, 160 mile Kilimanjaro stage run begins.
Before setting out on their testing expedition, the five international runners and five local Tanzanian runners join Simon in a ceremonial tree planting exercise near to the Marangu hiking trail gate on the southern slopes of the mountain. Simon is pleased that the local communities have begun to heed his call to protect the natural resources before it's too late. At the end of the day, we want the beauty to remain. The environment is so much to us. We cannot live without environment. We cannot live without water. We cannot live without oxygen. So it's very important for us to take all our part to give something back to the nature. There's a limited amount of resources and it's important that as these children grow they learn that and they realize that we just can't take, take, take from the land we've got to put back. So I think it's a really good thing uh, that Simon's doing with the, uh, with the tree planting. From the Marangu Gate, the most popular hiking route to the summit, the runners prepared to explore the foothills of this majestic mountain. The three volcanoes that erupted around 200,000 years ago certainly changed the skyline of the Central East African region forever. Mwenzi, Kibo and Shira transformed the landscape into fertile lush tropical forests with deep valleys scoured out by centuries of water runoff from the mountains above. Running at an altitude between 4,200 and 6,500 feet above sea level, the eight-day route generally follows the servitude that serves as the boundary to the Kilimanjaro National Park. Covering an average of 20 very testing miles per day, the route follows animal and footpaths, taking runners through some very remote communities, communities that seldom have outside visitors. Having climbed the mountain countless times as a guide, it is Simon's passion and friendly smile that are largely the driving force that has brought all of these runners together to help him kickstart his dream of creating a trail running event on the slopes of the mountain. A dream that Simon hopes will continue to attract international runners for many years to come. Tanzania is more than uh, a mountain to climb. Tanzania is more than a safari to go and see the animals. Tanzania is a great place for trail running, for explore different territories that people never been before. It'd be a great idea to invite some of the world-class athletes to come this far to see where I train, where is my background, and to show them my culture. I first met Simon in 2005 in Hawaii when he was training for Western States. We got to become quite good friends and. And that's when I find out how dynamic this guy Simon really is. I mean, he's, he's really a community leader, he's, uh, he's a fantastic athlete, he's a comedian, he's just a great guy. He's one of those guys, you meet him and after hanging out with him for a day, he's your best friend for life. I've always described Simon as someone with the best smile and the best hug. And I've met him at the finish line of Western States many times and been greeted by both of those things no matter what state he's in. I think for an event like this, it's really important to have a, a true leader that's more than just the athlete. It takes a certain leadership to be able to keep everybody together, to keep us mentally focused, to keep the attitude up, you know, to keep us inspired every day because after running, you know, 30K every day, it's, it's hard to get motivated in the morning. Simon has a way of kind of easing and making everything just flow and just making everybody realize how special it is that we all get to be together in a really cool spot. Despite being located just a few short miles away from some of the most expansive plains in Africa, traversing the foothills of Kilimanjaro is no easy task. With some days reaching total elevation gains of over 6,000 cumulative feet over the 20 mile distance, it takes a strong, determined runner to take on this type of terrain day after day. This run is, is quite challenging because it's day after day of 
very hard running and some very steep climbing up and down. It's a very technical running, so it requires somebody who's got some experience running on trails, uneven trails. The, the terrain is very uh, assorted. You've got a single track trail with lots of elevation change. Sometimes you're right in the jungle and you feel like uh, where'd the trail go and so you're really you're crashing through. The trails are amazing. You go from one region to another. You go from pine forest into single track to running across fields that you know, there's not really a trail there. Up and down gorges that are just unbelievable and beautiful. You're running along these crazy ridge lines and you're looking down wondering how the heck would we ever get down and then all of a sudden you're down in the bottom crossing a river and looking at a pitch that's just ridiculous. But then we had a couple of days as well where we're running along open roads and really interacting with the villagers. Just putting in some good miles too and soaking up the sun and getting a little burn on the shoulders and I don't know, I guess if you were to try and recommend how to train for this, you've got to be ready for anything. Although each and every person has it in them, only a special type of personality would have the desire and the ability to complete a multi-day run like this. You've got to have some experience and you've got to have the experience of really pushing yourself long distances, whether that's a, a long one day run of 100 kilometers or 100 miles or a multi-day activity where you're doing extreme mileage. But for those who have done that, I mean, the rewards are amazing. Pushing yourself physically with that run while completely immersed in the culture and opening yourself up to, to that experience. Anybody that wants to experience something, you know, out of their, their normal uh, life and to, to see how these people live here. There's no commercialism in this, it's, it's you're out amongst the people. Somebody that really wants to just get after it every day for whatever the day brings, not having any expectation of, well, we said we were going to run 35 kilometers, not 38. You know, you got to be really flexible with how long 38 kilometers can take. <laughs> You need to be able to kind of take care of yourself day after day, really get your feet taken care of. The guys do an awesome job with the resources that they have, but you, you really have to know how to take care of yourself in any kind of environment. Just being able to be flexible and roll with how things come at you and to do something this big, it'd be good to have that experience before you, you set out on this trek. Just really be in the moment and be present because you don't know what's going to come next. Four days in, and the shared experience begins to connect the crew and runners in a way they never imagined. The crews are amazing. Everyone is so into this and, and so friendly, and the, the more you get to spend time with them, the, the closer you feel. Just the camaraderie between all the runners, and, and you start to all become one. You know, the crew and the runners and Simon and, you know, everybody. It's just everybody's together, and, you know, when you finish a day, everybody's there to high-five and hug, and it's a very warm, very uh, close-knit group. You create a lot of relationships and friendships when you're out on the trail and to have the interactions in town. If you have too many more people, the group would become intimidating, I think. There's a lot of cool relationships that are building because of the size of this that we have at this group. People want to meet new friends. So you bond with people who you run with, you compete with. And at the end, it's the endorphin that gets you through, whether you're doing 100K, you're doing 100 miles. You have the endorphin comes out slowly and you release and you enjoy it. At the end of the day, when you deliver something, I've just run 100 miles and I have just run 100 kilometers. And that to me is where I want people to visit Tanzania. Spend long enough doing simple things, 
with like-minded people and you will start to look past the surface and begin to appreciate the inner beauty of everything and everyone around you. I think what motivated me to want to do this more than just a typical long distance race or stage race was the whole experience. You're not just running a lot of miles from this place to this place over here. The goal is not just to run this as fast as we can. The goal is to absorb everything and really enjoy the whole experience. There's something really cool for ultra runners and trail runners. We all want to train and run, but to actually have a destination and a point and a reference of running around something or running from one point to another. And I mean, to run around the highest peak on the African continent is pretty cool. I think Simon's done a good job of making it more than just running around a mountain. It's educational and we'll take a lot more back from this trip than maybe we thought we'd get out of it. I feel like I'm gonna go home with something that maybe I can't even put words to of how cool it is to be here and there's more to see and hear and, and do. It's untouched, it's so different than what we're used to and I think it's a good experience to have and, and to have regularly in your life. Africa has always had a certain mystery and romance to it. A far off place that isn't contaminated with modern trappings and daily stresses. Everyone that comes here leaves with an almost unexplainable primal feeling of maybe this is the way things are meant to be. People are so like really present and simple and in the moment and maybe are a little startled when they see this group of Mzungus walk up, but you, the minute you say Jambo or Haribu, the, the biggest smiles, it's like a Simon smile comes out on any of their faces and it doesn't get much better than that to just be that present and simple. Also, um, the lifestyle here, such a contrast to the U.S. I mean, it um, feels so relaxing. Um, slow down a bit, I slow down the pace of life. With endless trails crossing thousands of square miles across the slopes of Kilimanjaro, the true potential for people to explore this mountain is only now starting to come through. Simon and I have been talking, and we're obviously going to have this event every year because we think there is enough interest and we enjoy it so much that we want other people to, to enjoy it as well. Uh, but as an offshoot of this, we would like to have uh, maybe a shorter running trip. Some people might want to run 10 to 15 miles a day and maybe less challenging running and do that for four or five days. So that's one possibility. Also for people who, who don't want to run but want to hike, that there's a lot of great hiking here. When we first started talking about it, I was very much focused on the running aspect. And yeah, it's going to be it's a great physical challenge. Uh, for those people who want to have a, a challenging run or race in this environment, we can set a good race course for a 50K, 100 mile, 100K race. You know, why not develop it here? We've got Simon Mtuli, a committed and outstanding trail runner himself. We've got beautiful trails, the beauty of the mountain itself. I will also want to do a 100 mile uh, event. I believe it's possible to have a 100 mile event. And not only that, increasing the uh, tree planting around the various different area on the valley where we've seen some of the damage uh, to protect this uh, natural beauties of the region. So try to get everyone to understand what this message is about. The future of this region, the future of this mountain. After seven days of running, this now tight-knit group of friends can for the first time start to focus on their final destination. The goal of reaching the place where they began running a week ago. And the waterfall is down here. That's where we came now. 
Simon is, just has so much enthusiasm for Kilimanjaro, not just because of the people, but because of what Kilimanjaro represents as a part of Tanzania. Simon talks about the mountain in, in a sort of spiritual way, and so I think for him to be able to keep that spirit alive through the Moshi community, through the running community, through the African community, that in some ways depends on Kilimanjaro. For me, it's, it's another great experience, and it's one that I'd like to be able to share with other people back in Boulder and say, hey, come, come and do this. This is really something unique and different that you won't find in very many places. It's uh, logistically, I don't know how Simon put this together, but he did it, I would say, perfectly. It's just, it's incredible. Uh, I feel so pleased and I can't, I can't describe to myself how I felt because it's been a month, a year, a few years to actually get it, it's done. And certainly I'm looking forward for celebration and share the story with others who have come very far to share this with me. And it's been amazing and very pleased to see people are supporting this idea of running around the mountain and enjoy the mountain spirit. It's just amazing when you have the, something you want to share. And today I feel like it's the greatest dream I ever had. And uh, the hours I went through the trails to try to navigate the trails and finally covering the whole mountain distance, pretty amazing. To actually seeing the dream that I had for a number of years, running through this village, meeting people, making new friends. It's been amazing to myself to see this is possible. Seeing myself, I'm coming to the end of my traveling all over the world. Uh, to have something more to share, and I hope this uh, is going to reach far and beyond. Um, everything is possible if you have the spirit. It has taken just 161 short miles to take one giant leap forward for trail running in Tanzania. Through the efforts of Simon Mtoy and all of those at Sene, the door is now open. Open to explore this beautiful country in the most natural way of all.